Do you suffer from a health challenge that you are convinced is an autoimmune disease, but every time you've had a doctor do an autoimmune workup with antibody-based testing, all results have come back negative? If they've done that, but they haven't tested your immune system to know whether or not it can show a true positive, then that could be the missing link in your case. I'm Dr. John Bartimus, and I'm putting the pieces together to help you live a life at Optimal. Hypogammaglobulinemia. Say that three times fast. Hypogammaglobulinemia. 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 That's tough. I think that third one wasn't right. But hypogammaglobulinemia is a disorder, and it's an immune disorder, where your body cannot make the antibodies necessary to show a true positive on antibody testing. Gamma globulins are proteins that make up the antibodies that we are testing for when we're looking for antibodies in autoimmune disease. So if you have hypogammaglobulinemia and it's been undiscovered, you could have autoimmune disease, but the antibody testing to prove it will always be negative because your immune system is suppressed and can't mount the response to create an antibody to show a true positive. So you're getting false negatives. And that's the frustration for you as the person suffering from the disorder, because you're convinced and you know in your heart, this is an autoimmune disease, why is my testing negative? Well, if they've never checked your immunoglobulin levels for, for sufficiency, then they don't know for sure that that negative result is a true negative or a false negative. So if they test your, if they test your immunoglobulin levels and they're lab low, and then they go further to test for gamma globulins and those are lab low, now we know that you have hypogamma globulinemia and you can't mount a response to show a true positive, to show the autoimmunity. So what could cause hypogamma globulinemia? It could be a genetic immune disorder or a secondary immune disorder due to multiple things. So one other key piece to this is not only will you not be able to produce antibodies to prove your autoimmune issue, but if you can't produce the antibodies, that opens you up for infection as well. Because when you're infected, the immune system creates antibodies to respond to the infection and then to remember the infection. So that if you're ever reinfected, your immune system can respond faster to that pathogen. So there's multiple problems with having hypogamma globulinemia. One could be false negative results on antibody testing making you frustrated because you, th you think you know you have an autoimmune disease, but the labs aren't showing it. Two is that it opens you up for increased susceptibility to infection because you're missing the antibody response side to your immune system. So if this is you, you need to have your immunoglobulins checked to make sure they're robust enough to show a true positive on antibody testing. And if they're robust enough, and the antibody testing is negative, then we can say confidently that at the time of that testing, you do not have antibodies that could be representative of the autoimmune disease against the tissue in question. I know that's kind of heady and thick today, but it was time to dive in a little deeper. We've had some, some lighter videos lately. So if you have questions about this or want to dive in deeper, speak to your clinician. If your clinician doesn't seem to know much about it, then seek out a functional medicine practitioner who can dive in with you on this topic.